The definition of power creep has been added to Fortnite Save the World Pain Train, a crazy new ranged assault rifle. That this video is going to be about, well, at least one of the ways that you can get absolutely unreal crazy with this weapon in Fortnite Save the World. So hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos. Obviously, we're going to be stopping here so you guys can see the difference between the obsidian and shadow shot path of the weapon. This is a slow fire rate weapon and if you go shadow shot with it, it is going to be firing even slower, but you're going to be getting a lot more impact and a lot more DPS for it. So that is the path I took all the way up to power level 130. But look at this stuff here. I maxed out my perks and I selected six damage perks for it. Well, four actually, but the element is a damage perk and the sixth perk is one as well. We have some absolutely unreal perk options with this weapon, so I'm probably going to be making more videos about it because some of the things we can do with this weapon are just unreal. But to start out with, I wanted to go with a maximum of 191% additional damage, base damage. This is not about critting, it is not about headshotting, it is just pure damage from the pain train. And if we compare the weapon the way I have perked it up right now with my Bobcat, my previous favorite weapon, as you can see here, also physical damage. It is unreal how much better this weapon is. We have more impact, we have much higher DPS, we have a better range on the weapon. So obviously we have a, like, a smaller mag size, that is a thing, absolutely. But all else equal, this weapon is so much better than my previous favorite weapon. For this type of situation. I mean, <laughs> light ammo. Absolutely unreal. Comparing it with the Grave Digger again, the DPS, Uncharted, and this is a medium ammo weapon. We have the same range, we have slightly smaller mag size. Of course, we're not dealing like to one specific element damage and we don't have affliction, but we do have this crazy sixth perk that gives us about 20, 27% additional damage. Comparing it to the Nocturno, Another light ammo weapon, much more DPS, same range, double impact. It is absolutely unreal how crazy the pain train is. It is definitely a weapon you should be grabbing right now. Even comparing it to my Hydra, like my main favorite weapon in the game, so much more DPS, of course, not anywhere near the same amount of impact. So it is a different type of weapon entirely, longer range. But just, you know, so you guys can see, the unreal amount of damage you're going to be getting with this light ammunition weapon. It is, <laughs> I mean, buy it from the event store right now. If you're, if you're going to be missing out on this, you're going to be really, really sad later on in the game. It is power creep like nothing else. We're getting so much more in a single weapon than ever before. If we take on something such as a soldier class hero that gives even more damage with assault weapons, because I just had it with my Outlander before. <laughs> So as you can see here, we have like additional ammo capacity. We have some additional damage from assault weapons. We can also take the MGR in to deal even more assault weapon damage. You guys know there are like loads of different heroes and squad options that you can use to just get much more out of specific weapon types. So I'm just putting in a bit of a casual thing here. And as you can see now, the DPS is up to 164,000. This is a light ammo weapon. It is completely oh, yeah. unreal. Obviously, I've been spending today really fooling around with this weapon because it's almost a little hard to believe that they gave us something that is so much stronger than what we had before. And obviously, it was working like a charm in pretty much any situation that I used it for. It is not that good as a, like, it's not a creep control weapon as such, even though it is a light ammunition weapon. Uh, but then the again, this weapon is probably what we have been needing in Fortnite Save the World more than anything. And why is that? Well, when you get just a little bit past Stonewood, the main amount of damage you're going to be dealing is from traps, it is from gadgets, it is from abilities. You're not going to be dealing the main amount of damage in the game while you are shooting with your weapon. So, like, what do you even need a weapon for? We saw it with the new Tree of Light, high damage, slow swing, and here again we see it, high damage, like low fire rate. What we need is Watch all the, the things that gets, like, gets past the kill tunnels, the things that require an extra punch. 
those are the things we need to take out with our weapons and that is why i think they have given us now like a <laughs> next gen kind of weapon that deals so much more damage of course it is slower but at the same time it's exactly what we need i can take out pretty much anything with this weapon and when i use it in combination with my other things it just works out like a charm try to take out some encampments just by using the weapon it was <laughs> it was tricky because there is so much creep that it is really really hard to do that alone especially with low max size and slow like, reload time on the weapon but with everything else when i'm not managing creep with the weapon it is it is completely unbelievable you can headshot out with it if you want it's always a good thing you can aim for critting with it i'm going to be showcasing some of the different perk builds that you can make with this weapon the first time around i just wanted to make this unreal pure damage build because we have these four damage perk options plus a sixth perk that is actually the same as getting a lot more damage and then we have of course on this one i have physical damage because it's probably mainly going to be a smasher blast through kind of weapon anyway because those are the things that are going to be getting through my kill tunnels if i'm going to be making them or there are the things that my teddy towers won't be taking out almost instantly or my hover turrets so just like including here a little bit more like normal gameplay how i will be dealing with things instead of just shooting just with the weapon just with the soldier class hero because that is where the weapon shines the most because it's not like realistic gameplay but taking out a smasher like here just with my hover turret normally i would probably just put my hover turret up but if i'm defending the shelter or something else i'm going to be having a teddy tower down i'm going to be having my hover turret we probably have a like kill tunnel or something depending on the difficulty and then this weapon is beyond amazing i also took it into frost knight just to test it out against some tougher opponents because it deals so crazy high amounts of damage that even when i was playing in group missions it was just <laughs> it was over killing pretty much everything and in frost knight it was shining absolutely as well so anyway guys that was pretty much what i had to share in this video 191 percent additional damage on a light ammo weapon it is dealing more damage than even the grave digger it is completely unreal as always thank you very much for the epic games creator support for now guys thank you very much and very much for watching